Welcome to the uh, project of deep disease uh, detection. Uh, this project is developed using uh, .NET, Visual Studio .NET with C Sharp and OpenCV. Now, the objective of this project is to detect the leaf abnormalities, specifically something like nitrogen deficiency. So, if you look at this leaf profiles, uh, these are the leaf profiles. Now, most of the image processing works that is uh, that has been done on the leaves assume. Uh, takes the leaf photograph against a white background or more of a homogeneous background but the major objective over here is to take the leaf photograph uh, from a natural environment and then uh, uh, segment it out and uh, detect if there is uh, any specific disease associated with the leaf or not. So we have constructed a simple database of few normal leaves and few abnormal leaves. Now let's get started with the uh, presentation. So what we do is we first load an image say for example uh, from our database let's uh, just take a normal leaf first so we are going to take a normal leaf uh, so in order to ex remove the background we are going to perform k-means clustering over here so the k-means clustering is going to iterate through and then finally create a profile of the backgrounds you can then convert it to grayscale and then gray to binary. Just let us see with uh, one more image. Database, say normal. Let's take some more leaps, something like this. K means clustering. So, because any natural leaf is going to have a complex background and that's going to be considered in the image processing task in order to eliminate that we are going to work with purely leap based so over here you see uh, you get a binary mask out of the grayscale image and if you multiply this with your original image you are going to get a segmented image so this is just eliminated and you get a segmented image now our objective is to use this image as a reference image so in the database uh, we are going to store this values now as a feature what we do is we extract the red green and blue yellow uh, histogram and then use them to calculate the yellow histogram also now if you observe this image closely because this is a natural leaf the green colors appears at the higher end so high green value will be appearing in more numbers and yellow values will be appearing with relatively less a number now we can also see uh, the reference features so the image and its features are displayed over here all right notification so let's load a normal image let's just load a normal image cluster it using k means clustering convert this to grayscale the gray to binary let us multiply this binary image with the uh, clustered image in order to get the actual image and let's just check out the difference with the reference now this leaf is normal leaf because the amount of variation with respect to reference normal leaf is very low now let's just test with an abnormal leaf we'll load an abnormal leaf here from the database we are using a histogram features over here the uh, logic behind this whole project is that for any deficiency like nitrogen deficiency the texture of the leaf is going to be changing and there will be yellow spots so if we could uh, analyze the amount of green and yellow histogram and if the yellow histogram is more and the green histogram is less uh, with an image with the reference normal image then we can clearly say that this image is abnormal so let's just start with an abnormal image let's convert this to grayscale gray to binary so you can see this background which is insignificant gets removed all the background information and let's just check the difference with uh, the normal now you can see that it shows clearly that this is an abnormal image that's because the yellow histogram differs and green histogram differs 
to a great deal. So uh, by using color histogram approach, you can detect the leaf abnormality without using uh, classifiers, just with the help of a single single training image and use that as the reference. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank you.